other yellow hat guy here, back with another video. And let's get into it. What are routes? What are those? Well, in some of you might say route. You mean route? However you want to use that word. It's basically a pathway. It's giving you a direction of where you need to go. So Niantic, a long time ago when the game started, they had footprints. And these footprints let you find certain Pokemon that were nearby. So if you saw a Pikachu, maybe it wasn't in your collection, maybe it was, but you wanted another. Hey, if you follow the footprints, it lets you know how close you are northwest, east, south to that Pokemon. They removed it for reasons. I can only speculate that it's because, hey, it was straining their servers. It was, uh, you know, too much coding and things like that to go from the Pokemon they had at the time to 150 to, you know, however many hundreds of Pokemon they have in the game uh, right now. I say all that to say they finally came up with a way to make the game a little more creative, and that's with these routes. Now, how do these things work? Well, someone or yourself like you, more than likely someone else, <laughs> they can go to a Pokestop, create that as the starting point, and then walk for, I guess it's a limited amount of kilometers, and then make an ending point of a different Pokestop. And as long as you walk that route, you can encounter certain Pokemon, get certain goodies, and things like that. Now, the Zygarde research is what predicated this. They use that and they're like, hey, you want these Zygarde cells or cores or whatever they call them? I think they're cells. If you want one of those, you can do a couple of these routes. I think it's like three of these routes, routes, right? So very few of us can even create them right now. And it's very silly, but I understand. You don't want everyone being able to create a route Then it kind of breaks the research. Niantic wants you to Take your time with this. But why even introduce it if you're going to just leave it there in people's research box? It's very irritating that they do stuff like that. It's very irritating. you got to forgive me. My uh, Go++, Plus Plus, which, you know, it's a green button, but green screen video, is going off constantly right now in the background. So... I finally saw one of those yesterday, so, you know, if you're upset that the video is late or you're like, why are you talking about it now, don't worry, I don't always get to play video games when I want to, but when I do, there will probably be a video talking about my experience. So, we had Poliwag Community Day uh, alongside of it. I was at GalaxyCon Raleigh, stay tuned for a video talking about that, I know some of y'all are looking into that. I'll, I'll be clear with you, watch the Mario Maker whenever that drops. That's when I'll talk about what's going on in my life and the GalaxyCon. So back to Pokemon, I was at GalaxyCon and uh, Poliwag already had a Shiny released. They just decided to give a community day, which, you know, it might have been needed if you wanted to have a Shiny Poly World and a Shiny Poly Toad. I do have a shiny Politoed already, so, you know, I kind of got the one that I needed. My mistake was I paid for the research. Niantic uh, had issues with the app where it glitched, and it didn't act like I paid for it, but I did. And I didn't really pay too much attention. So I'm stuck with this research that's like catch 15 Poliwag, and I know the next step is going to be the same thing. It's okay though. I'll eventually get them when I get them. Alright, Pika Pika, you heard it. That means the app disconnected from the game. Or the, or the, the app disconnected. The device disconnected from the app. Disconnected from Pokemon Go. Uh, anyway, I'll get them when I get them and we'll move on. It's, it's not one of those uh, things where it's like, oh, you know what? You can't get this other Pokemon because you don't have enough Poliwags or whatever. So, yeah, the route was kind of fun. Of course, it was raining when I finally got to see some. Usually people put them in downtown areas and parks, and that's where Niantic wants you to go anyway. They don't want you to put a route from, like, the Pokestop near your house 
to the next nearest one near your house because you know that's convenient. Niantic's trying to make their own little thing and it's it's kind of too late. They've lost a lot of people. They want you to buy into this idea that these things are going to revolutionize the game, but they're just super late with things. Another thing that they're late with, but at least they're doing is I'm hearing that they're testing out a ready to raid function where something I've been talking about ad nauseum if you watch all of my videos shout out to the 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 uh, few of you who have watched all of them right I know some of you watch them here and there but if you've watched all of them you'll see a timeline of where I'm like why are they making you wait two minutes if you got a lucky egg on everyone that's there with you whether it's five people or twenty if y'all are all there just hit ready to raid or something like that and then just go straight into the raid even if you're by yourself, why do you have to wait 120 seconds? If you're the only one in that lobby, that should have been clear to just go. I don't know what, what, why they were just so lazy with that, but they're, they're just now getting around to it. And you could say better late than never, but it's clear that the user base is not what it used to be. And you can blame COVID all you want, but we were going to get to this point because Niantic did not move in ways that were favor favoring us players. They were looking at ways that favor themselves first and foremost. So anyway, uh, Niantic, I know you guys look at these videos from time to time. Thank you for actually doing something, if nothing else. Okay, so I think that's everything I wanted to talk about this video. I know these videos I say a lot but in a short amount of time. Uh, I haven't been able to get much progress in. I think we're getting closer to 9 million XP out of the, I guess it's 20 that I need, 20, 25, I can't exactly remember, into level 48 to get to level 49. So we did get some Pokemon that I hadn't had in a, encounters with in a while. I was able to finally catch those get those out of the way. Mega Tyranitar is out right now for at least the next couple of days. We are in the month of August. I am excited for August uh, and everything that comes after. Uh, Counting Crows reference. Um, thank you guys for watching. I, I appreciate all of you, all the views over the years. I honestly can't believe I'm still playing the game either. We have GoFest to look forward to this month. Um, where did the time go? Where did the time go? So did you get a Zygarde cell yet? Did you change forms? Let me know. I haven't seen that yet. I'm not sure I want to change forms with it just yet. I'm not quite sure how powerful this Pokemon is either. I know we have Mega Deancey to look forward to at GoFest. They still, just for whatever reason, won't give us Arceus. I don't know what's up with that, considering... Arceus came out like last year, why they didn't seize upon that opportunity, but maybe they have something bigger planned for that Pokemon. That said, I think I'm done here. Um, I can't think of anything else I wanted to add, but I'm sure there are other things. I did, you know what? I did unlock the Snorlax if I didn't show that already. The, in the Catching Z's video, I did get the Snorlax with the sleepy hat, the bedtime Snorlax, whatever you guys want to call them. I personally named mine ZZ Top after the band ZZ Top, but ZZ like sleep, sleep top. That's, that's what I was going for there. Um, yeah, uh, thank you as always. Don't forget to leave me a like, comment, and subscribe. Maybe I'll have the hat on next video, but um, green screen has been an issue ever since I changed my setup. I'm happy with my setup. I just, you know. Lighting is, is, is important. It is important. So, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll put it on just to, you know, show you what it's looking like. And while some of you don't care, I am vain like that as I try to get better at videos and more professional, right? So, uh, yeah, check out some of the shorts I put up. Not shorts that I'm wearing, but... I serenaded LeVar Burton. Did y'all see that? Did y'all like that? That was fun.
Jordy LaFour. Guy from Reading Rainbow. Ah, see? See, I knew you knew. I knew you knew. Love you guys. Hope to see you again soon, but if I don't, good afternoon, good evening, good night. Captain Sensation!